welcome back my gardener friends so what we have behind us here is the old corn pot and we need to go ahead and get something else in here that's going to bring some nutrients in besides just amending the soil with rabbit manure and compost so we want to bring some long tap roots and pull it up and anything that's going to help fix our nitrogen and stuff so we got some ideas like we have our lupin lupine i always say it wrong and hollyhocks So we're going to go ahead and we're going to plant these in there. And we're going to turn this whole area into a flower bed. Because you see, it is 4 by 8. But is too far to lean over into. So we want something in there that is just going to do its thing and be beautiful. And we don't have to fuss with it too much. You guys like how I set this up? fun right let's go ahead and get to it you guys let's do it loop eye let's take a look at them seeds huh oh they're not very big it says we are to sow them a quarter of an inch so since i have just watered this and we are expecting some rain in the next 24 hours I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle them around this guy and kind of like just do an, an L-ish type of thing here because we have an L shape going on here right, I'm just gonna throw them in there so here are hollyhocks and our seeds are a little bit wider, but they are flat. So we're going to go ahead and just sow those in that back half over there. And I'm excited to see these ones grow this year. Haven't grown any hollyhocks since I was very small. Fun fact, hollyhocks are all edible. They use it in all kinds of different cosmetics, too. Alright, I'm going to throw those seeds right back there and get these things going. So here's some lupine that we dug up from another place and separated it. Took some cuttings and put it over here. You can see it has it wintered. It's a biannual, so it does die back in certain parts of the country, but it's fairly hardy here. I mean, you cut it straight to the ground, good to go, pops right back up. It's got these gorgeous leaves. Very familiar, kind of reminds me of a Jurassic. You put a little dinosaur right in the middle of that. Rawr. You get these wonderful spikes that shoot way up. So we separated one that we had from the backyard that was just so big. We were able to separate it in four or five different places. So we pop those in there. Those are looking pretty good. We just got them watered in. Yes, Lupin. So that's great, that's already getting started. And what I like about this is that it has a very, um, it brings up the nitrogen from the ground. So it helps build nitrogen from your soil already and it helps the other plants around it. So that's good. It kind of is doing its own fertilizing type of thing. Now the hollyhocks, they're a bit taller, quite a bit taller. So when we put them in, 
We'll put them on the back half over here. They grow up to about five to seven feet. Yeah, so it's about as big as the sunflowers we had last year. And we want to sow these right now too. And I like these because these have a really nice tap root, real long and deep. And so it brings the nutrients up from deep in the dirt up into the flowers and just it helps all the plants around it get the nutrients back into them. So both of these plants right here that we're getting ready to sow should help amend this garden.